Here is a simple production scheduling problem. There are 40 jobs to be processed in a production unit that consists of three similar workers and 10 similar, parallel machines. Each job requires some processing on a machine and any one of the 10 machines can be used for this purpose. Loading of the job before processing and unloading after processing require a worker and any one of the three workers can do it. For any job on any machine, loading and unloading need not be done by the same worker. No worker is needed during processing on a machine. A machine does not process any job during loading and unloading operations on it. Batch processing is done for every job. Machines can share batches of any job. Batch processing times for jobs are given in the following table. Loading and unloading times are 8 and 6, respectively for any job on any machine. You may read here. Loading and unloading times are 8 and 6, respectively for any job on any machine. Schedule jobs in the order J1, J2, J3, J40, and find job completion times. Find an improvement opportunity in this production. If there is an option to increase either workers or machines, but not both for reducing the make span of 40 jobs, what is your strategy for increasing the resources? Let us schedule all the jobs in this production using a finite capacity scheduling software, Schedulizer Lite. The first column of this table contains the list of 40 jobs. These jobs are to be scheduled in the order J1, J2, J3, and so on J40. Job quantities can also be seen in this table. Since batch size is 1 here, the number of batches is the same as the quantity for every job. For any job, we can see its operation details in the lower table. Loading and unloading operations precede and succeed the press operation for every job. For any job, the loading and unloading operations require a machine from the machine group and an operator from the operator group whereas the press operation requires only a machine. However, all three operations require the same machine. Machine group contains these machines. Operator group contains these three operators. Let us now create a schedule of all batches of all jobs. Note that all work will be completed by 6.57 a.m. next morning. This table shows batch schedules. These are resource utilization levels. Note that operator utilization is much lower than machine utilization. It means addition of some machines can improve throughput. This is Gantt chart of batch schedules. Green bar represents loading time, red bar represents unloading time and pink bar represents press operation time. Gantt chart of resource schedules. Schedule of operator A in tabular form. Let us now see the effect of adding more machines to the system. Let us add temp MC1 to machine group. Let us schedule again with the addition of a new machine. Now the finish time is advanced from 6.57 a.m. to 5.28 a.m. Operator utilization has also improved. Let us repeat it adding one more machine. And reschedule again. Now the finish time is advanced from 5.28 a.m. to 4.05 a.m. Operator utilization has further improved. This is how we can do what-if analysis and capacity planning using scientific scheduling software. Thank you for watching this video.